Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where tonight I'm on location here at the beautiful Montrose Crossing Shopping Center at the intersection of Rockville Pike and Montrose Parkway where the restaurant called Slapfish is opening on Friday at 11 a.m. The first 107 people in line get a free lobster roll and they are apparently are having a soft opening here tonight so I'm going to try to get in the door here and see if we can test out some of the menu items of this chain that's rapidly expanding. To drink, I got their cola made with real cane sugar and they have water in a box. I started off with the chowder fries, which have clam chowder, bacon, and a cheese that's like queso sauce on there. And what I like about these is that it's not only the most bacon I've ever gotten on loaded fries, but the way they have the toppings spread throughout the whole dish instead of just on the top. So I would give these five stars for the flavors and the amount of the toppings that you get on this. One of the great things at Slapfish is the selection of sauces. This is a Jersey sauce and herb, lemon, and mayonnaise sauce. And this is awesome sauce that has sriracha in it. I found I actually prefer the Jersey sauce over the tartar sauce for fries and for seafood and the tartar sauce here has got a little bit of a unique uh, mustard type flavor to it I'm not sure what the ingredient is but the awesome sauce was also very good even if you're heat averse I don't think it's too bad it was only about a 3 to 4 out of 10 on the Robert Dyer heat scale but definitely a good flavor to go with it for the main courses, I got their lobster roll, which comes with fries on the side, and I also tried the single version of the fish and chips, which of their sustainable fish policies is made with white fish. As you can see, there was a good amount of meat on there, including two claws, and this is served on a warm butter roll, and I found the roll was very good and it held up well and the meat was pretty tender as far as the lobster goes I would give this five stars Hear how crunchy that golden coating is on there, perfectly fried, and it's just greasy enough as you would want it to be. White fish is not the first type of fish that would come to my mind for fish and chips. I would think more of cod, but this is part of their sustainable fish idea, and I would say that it has a nice mild flavor. I think it did work very well as fish and chips. And I would give this four stars. I would recommend you get it fried because the coating is really what made it stand out. Well, I'm back in the car and it was a great meal at Slapfish. I gotta give a shout out to another YouTuber who was in the house here tonight, Brandon Bloggs. I know I've seen some of his videos before. He was here and a lot of other people here at Pack Restaurant, as you probably can see in the video. And I just want to give you a sense of the prices here of uh, the fish and chips. This was a single, that's $9. The chowder fries are $7 and the lobster roll is market price and today that was twenty five dollars with the fries you get so that's a total of forty one dollars of course you'll probably be 
getting just one entree. I was trying to test a lot of items here. That was $41, and then the Montgomery County Council greedily takes $2.46. Ridiculous as usual. But we know what their criminal enterprises are up to. They need to fund them. I've taken a trip to the ocean front without leaving Montrose Crossing Shopping Center here. So I hope you like this video. Share it with your friends. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.